Next up is UNF, which has had four straight winning seasons in conference play under head coach Matt Driscoll. Coach, how important is that to you to be a winning conference team year after year? Well, the one thing you always want to do in college athletics is win. I mean, everybody thinks we're here just for whatever reason, but winning is the bottom line when it's all said and done, graduating your players and providing an opportunity to make them as good a men, as good a husbands, as good a fathers as they can be in society when it's all said and done. But bottom line is winning. And when you've had the players that we've been fortunate to have, when you have those guys with us and been able to come into our culture and understand the process and then build us to where we are right now, it's been a lot of fun. And it, it's really has created a, a sense of urgency throughout the state and how going around and recruiting, it's made it a whole lot nicer going to Georgia and to Florida, two states we've done really well in and how our name now resonates and how people associate winning with our program and with the Uni University of North Florida logo, so to speak. And the one thing everybody wants to know is, what are you going to do about Dallas Moore? Well, Dallas Moore, Chris Davenport, Romello Banks, Aaron Bodiger, they're the winningest class in the history of UNF basketball. So when you take those guys and you remove them, to think that you're going to put one person in that spot doesn't make you look very bright. And I want to make sure that everybody understands, our team, especially, that it's going to take a collective effort. And we've done a great job. Our staff, who we've surrounded ourselves with people that you understand the servanthood and understand what's critical as far as growing young men, they've done a wonderful job bringing in the right characters and making sure that we have these people in place and these people here for us so that we can take what we've done and continue to move forward. Because the one thing we don't want to do is we don't want to slide back. So when you look at people like Wajid Aminu, preseason defensive player of the year, all league selection, and, and a guy that has the ability to change the game on both ends of the floor, when you have someone like him and a Garrett Sams, who was voted by the fans as a preseason player of the year, when you put those two pieces together, though they're sophomores, it's irrelevant. You guys, again, are playing a very tough schedule this season. How does it prepare you for the A-Sun? You know, I'm not sure there's another team in America that's starting off the season playing five teams that all play in the NCAA tournament. Not to mention, you play Friday night at Michigan State, Saturday at Michigan, travel on Sunday, play VCU on Monday, travel home on Tuesday, and then you get the opportunity to go to Florida and play Florida on Thursday. So to have a schedule like that and, and to put our guys into that, especially guys that obviously have never been under the lights before, it's going to be a really, really, really great test, not only for our program, but for me as a coach, because we always want to make sure that we're growing our guys and making sure our schedule is giving us the opportunity to be where we need to be in January. And that's a difficult thing sometimes for coaches to do, especially when you're playing these kind of rigors. Not to mention, we have Miami after that, and then Missouri, and then Mississippi State, and then LSU. So we're going to go play the SEC schedule as well, too. So we got to make sure that we do a great job as a coaching staff while this schedule prepares our team. Matt Driscoll and UNF will get started on the road. They will take on Michigan State on November the 10th.